Hello, welcome to Digit Math. Today we're going to learn about adding two digit numbers. Are you ready? We'll go through 10 questions together, so let's test your skills. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Let's go! 34 plus 18 is... Time to think. 8. Let's go straight to the answer. In the units column, we have 4 plus 8, which equals 12. This makes the units digit 2, and we carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, we have 3 plus 1 from the carryover, plus 1, which equals 5. So the sum of 34 and 18 is 52. Twenty-seven plus nineteen is... Time to think. Now let's break it down. In the units column, we have seven plus nine. This equals sixteen. So we place six in the units column, carry over one to the tens column. In the tens column, we have 2 plus 1 from 19 plus the 1 we carried over, which equals 4. Therefore, the final result is 27 plus 19 equals to 46. 54 plus 28 is time to consider. 1st add the units, 4 plus 8 equals 12. Write down 2 and carry over 1. Now consider the tens. 5 plus 2 equals 7, and don't forget the carried over 1, which makes it 8. Thus, the total is 54 plus 28 equals 82. 28 plus 46 is time to think. 28. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 8 plus 6. Adding 8 and 6 gives us 14. We write down 4 and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, we have 2 plus 4 along with an additional 1 carried over. This makes it 2 plus 4 plus 1 equals 7. So the final result is 28 plus 46 equals 74. 58 plus 39 is time to think. 8. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 8 plus 9. This equals 17. So we write down 7 in the units place and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, initially we have 5 from 58 plus 3 from 39, which totals to 8. Because we carried over 1, we add that to 8, making it 9. So the final result is 58 plus 39 equals to 97. 58 plus 26 is... Time to think! 8. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, add 8 to 6. This totals 14. Write 4 in the units and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 5 to 2, which makes 7. Add the carried over 1 to 7, making it 8. So the final result is 58 plus 26 equals 84. 37 plus 19 is time to think. 
Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 7 plus 9. Since the sum is 16, place the 6 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 3 from 37 and 1 from 19, along with the carried over 1, which equals 5. So the final result is 37 plus 19 equals to 56. 94 plus 67 is time to think. In the units column, add 4 plus 7, which equals 11. Place 1 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 9 plus 6, which equals 15. Add the carried over 1, making 16. Place 6 in the tens column and 1 in the hundreds column. So the final result is 94 plus 67 equals to 161. 44 plus 48 is time to think. Let's proceed to the solution. In the units column, add 4 to 8. This equals 12. Place 2 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 4 from 44 and 4 from 48, which equals 8. Adding the carried over 1 results in 9. Thus, the result is 44 plus 48 equals to 92. Fifty-eight plus forty-six is time to think. In the units column, we have eight plus six, which equals fourteen. Place four in the units column and carry over one to the tens column. In the tens column, we have five plus four, which equals nine. Add the carried over one to nine, making it ten place 10 in the hundreds column. So the final result is 58 plus 46 equals to 104. Great job! You've just completed 10 questions on adding two-digit numbers. Keep practicing and you'll become a math pro in no time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun math lessons. See you in the next video.